Happy Sunday, folks. Hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. I have been busy uh, enjoying my Sunday morning, doing some cleaning and adulting and some more fun things. I actually got uh, some new accessories for my Weber barbecue, so I put that stuff together and got it all sorted for barbecue dinner later. Joel Bond, says Cosmic. Uh, nope, not quite the same. <laughs> not as deadly. More cuddly. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, if you are new to the channel, my name is Joel Duggan. Surprise! And uh, we've been working on the medieval district or medieval area on the Citadel server, which is a multiplayer server. Uh, I am the only one online right now. But uh, yesterday we were working on this butcher shop. And it has what will be a small smokehouse out behind it. And I have some ideas for this today. Uh, but we wanna, I want to pick up where I left off. We were trying to build with some things that we don't normally build with. I'm not entirely sure I like it. I think I might ditch the granite altogether and go with a different kind of wood. Like I think I might outline it in dark oak. I know the idea was to try to get some other things going, but I think the jungle wood might be enough right now. I don't really like... I don't think I like the, the granite. Uh, I, we might be able to use the granite in the smokehouse. This I think I might try to make out of like brick and terracotta and stuff. The first go around, so we'll try that. Um, I also need to expand the size of this a little bit, I think. Although I don't know how I'm going to do that. Anyway, uh, first things first. I think we need to take a, a stab at the roof again and potentially have uh, some dark oak up there and see what it might look like. So I'm going to put the granite away and keep the jungle out. Party and Minorifics are back. Hello. And hello, Cosmic and Lord Valor. Good to see you folks here. I'm pretty sure I hit tweet on the tweet. There is a message on Twitter if you want to go share that around. Would much appreciate it. Uh, I don't think I brought dirt with me. And Kendo is here. How's it going, Kendo? Thanks, Cosmic. Are you all ready for your, your vacation, Cosmic? You just chilling now? Hopefully you're all set. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking might end up looking better is probably going to be dark oak. So we're going to make a change along here. I'll grab those as well. I'll change half of it and we'll see what it looks like because it, it needs some more contrast and we don't have a lot of dark blocks to choose from that might be too dark I wonder if that's going to be too much like the other roofs over here. Because I don't really have anything else that I can think of outside of maybe giving it a black rim. But that seems like really, really dark. Because we don't have any other stair blocks that I can think of. Just black stone. Yeah, just black stone. Yeah. I guess we could try bricks. But I imagine that's probably going to have the same problem as granite.
Why don't I like the granite? Uh, it's not um, a deep enough color. It's too... So when you're talking about color, there's two different things. You can talk about hue, which is the color as most people talk about it, like um, red versus green are different hues. But there's also tone, which is how light or how dark the color is. And I don't think that there's enough of a tonal contrast between granite and the rest of the build. And I don't think there's probably enough tonal contrast between brick and the rest of the build either, now that I'm looking at it. But we're stuck because we want to use stairs and slabs. But you see what I mean? Like this is still, if you look at this as a black and white sort of thing, the bricks are a darker block, right? Tonally, they're darker. From a hue perspective, they're actually really similar. Not sure. And that just looks weird with the uh, with the gray. So we might have to change that too. Uh, yeah, the brick and the jungle does look good together. I, I agree. I just don't know if it's enough of a contrast for what I want. But the main issue is that I find that the pink wasn't enough of a contrast. The granite wasn't enough of a contrast with the the stripped oak. And I do like the stripped oak. I specifically like the stripped oak in the jungle. Stripped dark oak, pardon me. I like this stuff at the top. I quite like that. What would make sense would be, you know, the old spruce, right? Like that's probably, but then it's still not enough of a contrast. I'd like there to be a third color. Like usually when you're designing something from a color perspective, it's like 70, 30 or 25, and then like a little accent or is like, you know, 10% of the build. So. Dark prismarine, I see. So the thing with dark prismarine, which is, it's dark, but the problem is that it's, there's a hue shift, right? It goes to a green, it goes to a cool color. I don't think that's what I want to do either. We'll try it, but I don't, I don't imagine. Who needs a mob farm when you just have a church that's dark inside? We thankfully have some of this handy. No more space. The church is haunted. Yeah, that's a fun way to look at it too. Yeah, so I don't think this is going to work. Mm -mm. No. Again, so here's a case where it's probably the right tonal contrast, where it's darker and has the right kind of contrast I want, but it's the wrong color. Like, I'd want to... This is why I wish there was more ways of dyeing and painting things in Minecraft. One of the things I'm looking forward to about trying some modded in the near future. Being able to have a little bit more control over that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think Dark Prismary is out. Stare... I don't think red nether brick would look good. I feel like that might be too bold. It's warm. It's like it's a warm color. You can't get much warmer. But there's nothing in between. I don't think 
orange would look good. I guess what I'm missing is probably something like a deep slate or, but even then I'd want it to be a warmer color. Acacia stairs, spruce stairs, warped, dark oak, crimson. No. Do I have any red nether brick? I have one. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to try that. Yeah, accidental mob farm for sure. Do we like the brick better than we like the granite? Like, is that a... Is that something we like better? Switch it back. We know we don't like the green. I need to do more with prismarine. I really like prismarine. I just don't find enough occasion to use it. I want to do a... There's a spot on the server for a double guardian farm. I think that would be fun. Brick is better, says Toy Bear. Cool. Yeah, if we do brick on the on the edges here and it ties in nicely to the smoke house, then that could be something cool too. I won't do the whole thing. I do want to run and get some red nether brick. It's not far, it's just in the nether tunnel. Pretty easy to come by. Maybe do about half of it. And then we'll run up here and do this side too. Yeah, it is a little bit better. I will say it's a little bit better. We might be able to squeeze in a chimney or something on the inside. might work out too. All right, well, let's go get some red nether brick and we'll test that as well. I feel like I need to change the color of the stone box. It doesn't really make sense to me from a color coding perspective. Hey, um, Rian, how's it going? All right, uh, Prismarine, we don't need it all. Put that back. I don't think I have any red nether brick anywhere else. I saw Whip showcasing a build that was really cool looking. And it had like jungle wood into granite. It was really well done. But it was a much larger scale.
right. Uh, we'll go back and get a shulker box. What am I doing for food? Oh, we're good. One of these is empty. So, uh, cold in South Africa. I guess you guys are going into winter, aren't you? It is very warm here today. It's easily 25 degrees. We went from spring to summer in just a few days. Overnight, it would seem. So I was trying to think about some of the things that we might want to collect uh, ahead of 117 dropping. And the first thing that I thought of was like, we can actually craft smooth basalt rather than looking for it in, in geodes. I believe you just have to smelt regular basalt. And if that's the case, then we can go collect some basalt, maybe get a shulker box full of that just to get her get ready. I feel like, I feel like smooth basalt is something we're probably going to use. Calcite and amethyst, of course, we will have no way of actually getting. Unless we find a geode in the new the new release. Uh, that, that, that. Let's leave at least a half a stack. And I thought there was... I thought I had more nether bricks. Oh, here's some terracotta. We need to dye terracotta. We can bring this with us. Uh, lots of granite if we ever needed it. Oh, more bricks. I thought I had actual nether bricks. Oh, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like that should probably be enough to play around with in the medieval world for now. Uh, do we need anything else while we're here that we can think of? Anybody remember me? Wishing I had other things. Leaves. Oh no, we had leaves. They were in the um they were in the uh the farm. Fifteen degrees is a nice day for me. <laughs> uh Rihanna, that's yeah, I would love it to be fifteen degrees. That's warm. Reached almost 38 centigrade, Lord Valor. 38 Celsius, that's hot. That's too hot for me now. We hit over 40 one time for a, a couple of days last summer. It was gross. The The hottest temperature I've ever been in was uh, in Utah. In July, it was 104 Fahrenheit, which is roughly 43 degrees Celsius. Uh, no humidity though, it was just dry. I'm, while I'm here, I wanted to look at Steven's hallway. Because he's got a new hallway out to the stair monument now. Really cool. I like that there's stair shapes. Little hints of crying obsidian in the corner. It's too bad that you can't use crying obsidian like in the portal frame. I wish, I kind of feel like that's an oversight be a fun data pack to add. 
Lord Valor, that's what I was doing. I was hiking. And normally I wouldn't have gone hiking in the desert in July. But uh, I was doing a... There was a podcasting conference that I was part of. And so... Um, that was the time I was there. It was the last conference. I don't. I didn't have any other plans to go back. Oh, we should go down to the Blackstone and see what I've got for basalt. This is always a fun trip. Very cool. I forgot how cool this place looked. Obviously not done. But we've got storage of things. Including some red nether bricks. It's all the blackstone. Oh, we've got some, but not a lot. I think I've got more in here. Just the one stack. Okay. Um, summers where I live is are humid and hot. Yeah, I'm the same thing. I'm right at sea level. That was the biggest adjustment, I think, uh, in Utah for me was... Feel like I felt like it was going to be worse than it is or worse than it was because it was um, like it was dro like it was zero humidity so if you get into the shade it dropped like 20 degrees so it was nice in that way uh, around here in the summertime in the shade if it's hu if it's humid it doesn't matter like you're still you're dealing with uh, like maybe a degree if you're lucky Yeah, the humidex I don't even know what the humidex is right now Let's just check because that's an interesting thing to talk about live on stream. What's the weather like in Nova Scotia? I Should have done something with Siri and tried to activate everybody's phone uh, 25 degrees feels like 28 because the humidity, well, it's not that humid. It's only 47%. Normally we hover between 70 and 90. That's kind of like where we live most of the time. Weather Olympics, yep. Something that we were always happy to talk about here in the Maritimes is the weather. <laughs> Mainly because it changes so often, you kind of have to keep your eye on it, right? Week and a half of rain. DFW. I always have to remind myself what DFW means. It was Dallas-Fort Worth, right? Brockett, one of the co-hosts on the Citadel Cafe, is moving his family to Texas. I think they're going to Dallas. I don't know if it's Dallas or Houston. His wife has got family there. Wood box, nope. And this is brick. Hey, the mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. 
For folks that are um, wanting to help out, if you uh, want to share the tweet or bring a friend into the chat, then uh, feel free. We're trying to grow the channel, so the more eyeballs that we have on a regular basis, the better. Where are you, zombie? Upstairs? There you are. I feel like we can use some of this rotten flesh that we've collected and maybe hang it around. I wish there was a way to make items like that in Minecraft bigger. Like, I wish there was a... That would be a fun data pack, just making things larger. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. It's probably going to be just too saturated. Like, this is bright red, man. Outside of the nether, this stuff is... It means business. Take no prisoners. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a hard no, but... Yeah, that's that doesn't work at all. <laughs> Did you say you want to hang rotten flesh around here? Who are you, Alistair? Eh. Some days. All right, so for now, I think we switch it all to brick. And then we'll figure out the rest later. Uh. Goes like this. And I don't remember what we were going to do over there. I feel like we could probably get away with slab here. Yeah. Yeah, it was worth a shot. That's the thing, Lord Valor. Like, something I absolutely love about this game is that you can just fix it. Like, if you don't like it, if it doesn't work out, then the only thing that you've lost is time. Like, you really... There's no sacrifice unless you're, like, dying in lava and losing all your stuff. You really can recover from just about anything. Uh, how are we going to do this now? Doesn't look right. That might work when we put something underneath it. When we do this. That might be okay. I guess that's do we are we gonna do that? Are we gonna add all these little bits underneath? I guess we are. That means we need to find some sort of trapdoor that would look good there. Maybe jungle wood? Nope. 
Maybe it has to be a whole, whole brick. Ah, oh, there we go. Is this survival? Yes, it is, unhappy guy. Four years, and this particular area, it's only been, what, six months? Something like that. Oh, we need to do more bricks. Do these work in here? No. Just a texture pack. We have one mod that's the map. Everything else just texture pack. Uh, are we doing stairs? Are we doing slabs? Maybe we'll do slabs here. Keep it consistent, right? like this and then we just drop it oh it goes down by two blocks or a full block rather mm, I feel like this would probably win out and end up being brick and then here that's a top slab so this one maybe we'll do as a Brick that way. Or actually, let's do it that way. Still not my favorite, but you know, can't win them all. Oh, that's spruce. Uh, go. So we've got strip logs going around. I feel like I need to add one somewhere back here. Three, one, two, three. So technically this would be one. But then this also strange. I don't know whether this would be bricks or whether this would be I feel like this the end the end of this place for sturdiness should probably be bricks and not have a bunch of wood in between it. But I guess technically that's what this is is the end, so and then we just have this little spot here that sort of sticks out. Oh, 
And I imagine, just to kind of keep the door frame nice and even, we probably had another one then. Right here. Yeah, I think that works. And then I'll go grab some spruce. Lord Valor, nice. Um, were you picking up stuff from the sale on Epic? What uh, what games were you getting? Whoa, no. Where did you come from? Dislike. I feel that makes sense. Uh, we don't know what's going to be there. It's fine. Oh, I feel like we need to remove these. I bought Aragami, The Little Nightmares 2, and one of the games that I've gotten on, I've forgotten on Steam. Don't Starve. Oh, that's the other one. Don't Starve is on uh, Xbox Game Pass. I've been wanting to check it out. I've seen it played, but I've never played it myself. Have you, have you started any of them? I'm trying to find some new stuff to play on, um, on, on this channel. But I'm struggling because the other games I've started and enjoyed, like Borderlands 3 and Satisfactory, um, they, um, they stutter on me right now. So it's not working out very well. Uh, do I want... I guess I want these things to go all the way down, don't I? Yeah, I like the aesthetic of Don't Starve. It reminds me of um, the time we spent in, oh gosh, what's it called? Oxygen Not Included. Has that kind of a vibe to it. Okay, I'm feeling okay about this mostly. Mm. Yeah, that looks okay. You like maybe not all the way up. Do we like this bit of cobblestone? I'm kind of thinking this would probably end up being dark oak again. If we do that, we have to do something across the top though.
I feel like this would be a really good spot for maybe some greenery or something. Uh, I don't know if I brought my horse dirt. I might have some in here. So we'll leave that blank, but I think eventually... So my beetroots are kind of pinkish. I got a custom texture on beetroots. And they look like that. And I'm trying to think about what else could look really good in front of this. Carrots would be too orange. Potatoes would be weird. I don't know. I feel like we could also do like a planter box that feels a little I don't know that feels like a little on the nose I feel like what we might want to do is have maybe something here we had a bush there that could help us break up the build a little bit and then we could just use, we could either put the plant stuff right down in there, or we could have it up higher. We'll play around with it and see what we can do. Peony or lilac? Peony is too pink, lilac too purple. Roses might be okay. Too tall flower might work. Yeah. Uh, wheat's going to be, I think, the wrong color. A little bit too distracting. My wheat is really bright. Uh, the custom texture I have on wheat, so people know who are not familiar, is that color. That kind of stuff. I think it might be too bright. Uh, potatoes are okay, though. These are potatoes. Beetroot looks pretty good, though. Oh. Sweet berries. I always forget about sweet berries. That carpenter shop looks real good. Not to toot my own horn. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so that's that. Um, what did we do? We did the did the roof. I guess I should start to think about what's happening inside. I want a spot for a barrel of salt. I know that much. We know there wants to be a door here. And I was going to try to fit in a chimney. Now, if I put in a chimney... We'd have to add at least a couple blocks out this way. And I don't know that puts too much. I don't think that puts too much in the alley. Still have a nice three wide entrance and a three wide exit. I think that kind of works. Because then we could get rid of this. And then we could do like a chimney going up the side here. Because I'd like the idea of having some sort of flame in here. I'm not sure why. I know it's a butcher shop, but I just feel like there should be something. This would be massive. Uh, if we did that, I would probably have the chimney angle over to what would be the right in here. 
And let's use some andesite, maybe. So I know, oh, I can't use basalt in there because that's the outside out here. Unless we did more trapdoor shenanigans. Actually, I don't mind that. We also need to figure out where we're gonna hang some lanterns. Too much stuff. How are we going to bring this actually? Oh, that too. Hi, Simon. How's your day going? Thanks for coming by again. Oh, there's two. I'll get them both. All right. I don't think I need the brick right now. We can put that back. put this down. What I like to do with these builds is once I get to a certain point, I like to do the inside before I really start to detail the outside. Because if I ever have to move a wall, there's nothing more frustrating than having to move a wall you just textured. So I tend to gonna give myself a little bit of back and forth when I'm doing this stuff. Ten out of ten flying, thank you. It was pretty fun. Uh, I guess just there. Eight, eight, nine, eight, eleven, seven, eight, six. Okay, so we need one more lantern over this way somewhere. Maybe we'll put it on something. Uh barrel. Nope, not the floor. And that should be good. 12, 12, 12 11, then 9, 8, 7, that's fine. No 7s. 6s uh, and 5s up here. Kind of knew that was going to happen. We will have to do something similar up here. I think one lantern should do it. Oh, I have a <laughs> shulker box named Bones of Cosmic. I think it's because you gave me the shulker. I don't remember. 12, 10, 9, 9, 9, 8, 7. There's one little bit of 7 down there. We can probably fix that by just putting stuff up here. Um, I'm not going to do that until I know if I'm keeping the jungle ceiling. I'm not entirely sure. 
I might like do some more texture work with it. I kind of like this idea of a butcher block being kind of this color. Um, I like the spruce there. I don't know if we want to move it back by a block though. Now that we have the, the hearth there. So I feel like I want to hang some things. First things first, I need to go look at what I put in the base of a lot of these. I know it's basalt in the background. I'm trying to remember what I put at the bottom of these fireplaces. It looks like blackstone. Think you I brought you bones and bones you one time? Yeah, I think so too. No, nope, I want the salt to go there. And fortunately we have to stick with I think if I don't want to do basalt. I don't want to do another layer, so I'll leave that the way that it is. Although I was thinking that this could look good if it was andesite. And then we could minimize how how that looks by doing uh, andesite stairs. I don't think I want to do polished. I think polished andesite is going to look just a little bit too too shiny. We could do this. Or that's a little bit low. We could do slabs. Uh, it feels a little bit low there, though. Maybe we do need to move this back. Yeah, that's low. Don't like that there. Maybe... Maybe we just move it over. Shoot. Well, that's unfortunate. I think we might have to have a little bit more cobble. What I'd like to do is actually go put in some gravel. I don't know if I have any.
Yeah, that's actually how um, Tad ST. Uh, that's how my original brewing uh, enchanting station is. Actually, my enchanting station back at Dartmouth Meadows is actually underneath my barn. I just don't like the look of enchanting stations, so I hid it. I still needed one in early Minecraft, but I I didn't like it on the farm, so I I hid it. What was I looking for? Uh, gravel. Um, there's a gravel. Do I have more than just one? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking here is I want to leave room to hang some meat up in here. That would look cool. So we could hang something there. We could have a couple of hooks up here. I just don't want them to connect. But the nice thing about chains is that they don't connect, which is great. Oh, of course. Um, how can we fix that? Well, uh, we could have one of those support logs go across the top there. Actually, that helps with the fireplace, too. Problem is that, well, so with these, we're not going to use full blocks. We're probably going to use half blocks. So anything full block here is just going to be too big. That's cool. Uh, how do I want to go over to the keep? We did some really cool stuff in the keep. I want to take a look. Break when you're ready, says Cosmic. Nice. Gappy the Twitch guy. No, you've only missed the first hour. That's fine. Bang not late for Gappy the Twitch guy. Give that a go. How big is the road going to the garden house? What garden house? Right. So that's a jungle log. And that's another wreck. And that's a bone thing. And then we've got... This is a three high... Thing. That's fine. We should probably have a smoker like that inside as well. I'm thinking a smoker next to a campfire. And then maybe... Maybe some other stuff. Plus we're doing that salt barrel trick too. When I first walk in, when I first walk into what, King D? You got to be specific. There's also a stream lag. So when you say stuff, it's just not going to be in context unless you're descriptive. Sorry. Yeah, so maybe we'll put the smoker over here. Because I don't know if I want the smoker necessarily right in there. I guess we could. I just really like seeing that that like ashy background. We could put it here maybe. Campfire, smoker, cobblestone chimney.
So if we put the smoker there with a cobblestone chimney there, that sort of looks like it goes. That just looks like it goes into wood, which makes no sense whatsoever. It would make sense if that was stone, I guess. What does that look like if it's stone? Looks fine. It'll look weird upstairs. But we can do something about that. Yeah, I think I like that better. And honestly, we'll probably just go straight andesite the whole wall. Sure. I feel like that's pretty good. That way, I have a campfire in here. And probably a cauldron, and that way we won't hide everything. Also, that solves the light problem as well. We might even be able to get rid of this. Yeah. Sweet. I forgot. I totally forgot campfires give off light. Duh. <laughs> Whoops. Now, do we like it better? I think I do like a better full block like that. A little bit more smoke going on. Looks a little bit nicer. Maybe we should put something in there, like some sort of cooking thing. We have like a horizontal chain or something. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, and I think there might be a handful of you, uh, I take a break once an hour. I just step away, give myself a stretch, give my eyes a break, grab a snack, and uh, we'll come back and do more butcher shop building. See you in just a few.
Time to get back to it. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Colonel something um, said something about crack bricks. Uh, yeah, we're d we're on the first pass. The structure is up, but I haven't done any texturing or details yet. So we are just like the chimney is not going to be straight bricks. We're going to change this around. And the no, oh, where are these guys coming from? Where? That's all slabs. I wonder if... I don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, I get, I get flying points. I need to have like creeper dodge points or something. It needs to be a tally. Like a score. That'd be kind of a fun Nightbot thing to keep track of. One one point for creepers when they kill me and another point for creepers when I avoid them like that. That'd be kind of fun. Um, so I think I'm okay with, with this. I want to... We're going to cover the floor in something that looks a little bit more interesting. I guess you should do that beetroot now while I think about it. Uh, oh wow, I don't know if I have any of that here. 
cocoa beans. Oh, that's right. I know where we have some. What I was thinking out the front to add a little bit more life down here would be to have at least this kind of a thing. Sort of like that. And then try to get it to go up. Oh, no, nope, wrong thing. Although out here we could probably switch it to have some lighter colored blocks. It just helps with making things like recede in space a little bit. And then up here, then we can get into all kinds of fun stuff. See what that looks like. Yeah, it's not bad. I feel like we could do a little bit more with changing some blocks, but we'll get to that later. And it's pretty good. And then I guess we'll give those that a go and see what that looks like. Uh do do. Uh, I need beetroot, which is at the farm, and we have spots for that. So we should just we should just bring some of that back. Can you bone meal sugar cane? Uh, I think so. Uh, beetroot is over here. Oh, we don't have that many. I thought we'd have more. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we'll try to harvest a few beets while we're here. Is there anything else that would look good over there? I guess the sweet berry bush was something we wanted to try. Oh good, that gave us a fair bit. Oh, I didn't bring the hoe with me. Whoops. throws me off so much that placing leaves sounds like dirt. Yeah, I know. I wish that they didn't do that. I wish there was more unique sounds, but I needed to replace that that uh, dirt sound or that um, grass breaking sound. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh. We may end up planting those higher. Or maybe we just have the one. Maybe that will be the trick. Maybe we just need the one little rail. That makes sense because that would be the way to get in there to, 
to till it and stuff. Uh, I do want to change that to Podzol. Cool. Uh, yep, yeah, I think that adds a lot of life to it. I deleted the grass breaking sound. Why? Because uh, I don't like it. When you're clearing a big area, the grass sound gets on my nerves. So I just changed it to dirt. And my gameplay experience is a lot happier. Uh, that... I guess we need to have a lantern outside somewhere. Uh, I don't necessarily want to hang it right from there, though. Maybe the trick is going to be to put the lantern on this build? Somewhere? And that will light across the street? I don't think... Uh, actually, you know what? With the step down here, it's not so much in your face as I thought it was going to be. I just don't like the... I feel like it would be better if we had one on the other side of the street. I feel like we need something there. Sure. All right, so we've got most of this done now out here. I'm not happy with the bricks on the outside, but I think the next thing that I want to finish up is the chimney. And I guess we have to decide if we want to keep, I think it might be better for us to do this entire wall as andesite and then texture it as andesite. And then that way the chimney will stand out. And then I don't know what we do with this. I wonder if we can get away with having it be a basalt wall. Like, I wonder if we can get away with this entire thing being cobblestone. Because cobblestone and basalt look really similar. So if we did, I don't think I'm going to like Blackstone. Blackstone's going to be too purple, I think. But if we grab maybe a little andesite cobble. Sneak in and a site there. Actually, try that. Don't know if this is small, a big enough scale for this to work. We'll see. Minecraft 62718, hello. Uh, I see you way over there. You know, I think that actually works. Some adjustments down here. Now the problem, of course, is that we can't... It'll have a funny texture on the side. 
So this is where we might have to figure something else out. Or attempt. No. Maybe the whole thing has to be log all the way down. I like it better with a foundation. I will definitely, definitely say that. I like it better with a foundation. So I dislike that we don't have different kinds of basalt. Like I wish there was cobbled basalt and smooth basalt and then other things. Uh, how do we do this? That just looks weird. So I guess we could hide it. And then just change this a little bit. And actually, that should be smooth stone anyway. Or regular stone, not smooth stone. Uh, maybe we just have to go straight across here. I think that's okay. If it's going the wrong angle, we've got this going at a back angle, and I feel like I wanted to have this also go at an angle. The only other thing I can think of would be to really push it back. And give that like a step. But if we do that, maybe we have to make these into stairs. A lot of back and forth today, but I think we're getting places. That really doesn't work, does it? No, I think I like it better just straight up, straight up blocks. for me it's Java Minecraft that's what we're playing on so this works I just think we need a little bit more cobblestone so we're gonna have to have the same pr problem here we have to figure out how to hide the edge of this salt in a creative way Blocked up the door. No! Oh, I was not paying attention. Oh, 
Oh, is that inside? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be a pain in the butt then. We're going to have to not do that there. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think... I kind of wonder if we have to do something different along here. A little bit too much wood. That works there, um, and might help us out here. But then what do we do for this stuff? Maybe this is where we switch to bricks. Or we just have it be cobblestone the whole way. That could work too. Maybe add in a little andesite. I forgot how weird that looked right there. It did work a lot better as brick, didn't it? And that side. I don't remember that being there. It's weird. Yeah, the problem with the barrel in the alleyway is that you end up, um, it's too narrow a space. You end up having to like really slam up against the wall to walk by it. It doesn't feel very good. We had one there before and it was actually where this pillar was and it worked great, but I needed to put the pillar in there for the build. So. Maybe we'll just add a lot of cracked bricks in the corner. Because I like this. I like the bricks in the back. We're going to keep that, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a little different, but it works. We'll grab some uh, cracked bricks and stuff here. Which are here? Nope. Uh, let's do that. More cracked up here. There. Cobblestone. I think that's everything. Don't know if that really works very well there. That looks better. Okay with that. Now along here, I feel like we can sneak in some salt again. 
Might as well just do the whole thing. We can always redo these. These things when we're ready. Skeleton somewhere. It was a tough competition, but the build wins your favorite in the marketplace so far. Really? That's amazing. Thanks, Cosmic. It's a mob farm, apparently. Now I feel like I'm playing a first-person shooter. Oh. This is so intense. Yeah, I like that. That actually goes goes well with the brick. Happy about that. I wish there was a way to keep these from growing up any farther. Like, I wish there was a way to keep them at, like, what is that? Age 2? I think it would be nice to be able to keep crops from growing. Waxing crops. Just like you can wax copper. Don't know if we're going to keep this path. This might change a bit. Uh, do I... I think we're going to switch this out. Do the same thing over here. Uh, actually, here we'll do a stone. Let's do andesite here. And I think we'll keep the cobble. And then we'll just start to do a lot more cracked. And maybe toss in the odd smooth stone or regular stone if I have it. Now the doors, I've been usually putting in polished andesite above the doors. I gotta go check this again. Oh, that's a that's a smooth stone. I need to eat something here. Uh, stair there, andesite stair there. So that's the only one with the andesite. I guess we'll just have to put it in and see what it looks like. Hmm. I think we have to maybe do a little fancy stuff here. Does that look okay? Yeah, I think of if it was a brick. I am stealth, I am speed, Joel Bond. Wow. That might be a little bit over the top. So the challenge upstairs will be to cover this stuff up because it's not going to look very good upstairs, but I feel like if we add a little bit more structure down here, it'll help with the door. And plus it helps it look a little bit more structurally sound. Basically I just really don't like tangents, and so with this, there's this weird 
this weird corner connection that I don't like. It's a geography or a geometric tangent. Geography? That's not the right word at all. Geometric tangent, which I don't like. So I'm going to do that, which has an overlap now. So now this meets a flat surface. Um, I almost want to do that all the way around, all across. Oops. And again, we can add some texture later. Maybe we'll do correct. It is starting to feel kind of claustrophobic back here. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, we will switch it up a little bit with some texture though. Uh, and that means we can probably, unfortunately, not have any cracked stairs. But if I have an andesite stair, which I do not. a little bright maybe just a smooth stone stair is the way to go yeah nope liked it better like that okay so that's looking good. Uh, I don't think there's any other textures I want to put in with the andesite right now. Uh, if I did, maybe it would be gravel. Yeah. Yeah, if I was to put anything in there, it would be gravel. But let's uh, do what we were going to plan over here, which is take the andesite all the way up. And we will figure out some other textures for this in a bit. This is going to go all the way up here. So I think here we'll bust out through the chimney or through the roof rather. I don't want to go too tall because I don't want to cut off the tower. I think that's just about right. Yep. So I'll probably put some stairs on that. We'll get the basic shape down first. A lot of times new people to the channel will just be like, aren't you going to do, do textures? Like, yep. I just, I tend to do this the way that I draw, which is I map out the shape first. And then because it's Minecraft, you can quickly change textures. And I guess we'll do No, uh, maybe we'll do a wall, which I don't have. Hmm. It's probably going to be two different versions of this chimney. One is going to be a block higher than the other. I'm not sure how we're going to do it from there. I kind of want to do something like that, I think. Put these in like this. And 
gravel was the other thing I needed to do. Still don't know why they haven't added crack stairs. Honestly, I think a lot of their decision to hold back on blocks like that is um, inventory. I think they need to find a solution for the inventory management. Um, I think that would be helpful. I'd love for them to develop some sort of like magical book um, where the result of you crafting that book gives you an experience like playing with modded where you've got like roughly enough items in your in your inventory. I feel like that would be really cool. Do I have a bones? Maybe I don't. Uh, I think we're done with basalt for now. Okay. Um, chimney, we need those. I need another campfire. I don't think I have one. I think I... Yeah, so sticks... Logs and coal. What did I want? Gravel was the other thing. So I'm wondering if we if we put in a little gravel inside, if it's just going to break up the andesite wall a little bit. Yeah, a little helpful. I mean, it's not a lot, and you're in an alley, you're really not going to look up and see this stuff. That's that part. Uh, I think that's the hearth inside, so I don't want to do anything. One, two, three. So the earliest I can do it is on the fourth block. So one, two, three... do this okay good and then for this uh, just a lot of cracked we can do I think this is inside yeah so we'll do that there we'll hit it with some cobblestone maybe some smooth stone or like regular stone rather Constantly correcting myself. I used to call it smooth stone for the longest time. Um, probably just straight there. Maybe we'll hit that with andesite, maybe? Oh. Too many cracked in a row. Let's go there. And I guess we'll do... That, and then... This might be too tall, but we'll have to see.
Nope. Alright, we'll see what this looks like. Bomo, hello. Thanks for coming in. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Appreciate the follow. Ooh, that's too tall, I think. That is very... Very odd looking to me. I like the smokestack, but we're gonna I think we're gonna remove the wall and probably bring all of this right down to the base of the chimney. The good news is that it really doesn't obstruct any views this way. You can't see. Yeah, I think that'll be better one block lower. You'll be happy with that. Cool. Uh, let's put this back here. Really glad fires don't destroy items. Campfires, I guess, specifically. All right, same difference. We'll just do it here. Wish we had more options for these kind of campfire things. I like, they're great chimney. Uh, oh, that's the wrong, whoops. Try that again. They're um, they're great for chimneys, but like you, there's really only the one that you can use. Everything else is either see-through or the wrong color or whatever. So there we go. Campfire. Marco D. Avila, hello. Or Avila? Yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. We're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that andesite though. I'm just gonna take that back to, to stairs. Maybe I'll change it into like just regular stone stairs instead of andesite. Andesite just seems to be a little bit bright. Yeah, and maybe we'll add something with a little bit more texture down there. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep. Like it. I kind of want to get cobble in there too. It's mostly behind the thing. Uh, let's go with hmm. Kind of curious if this would look good. I mean, we'll have to switch the one next to it, but nah, a little bit too of a, too much of a mirror. That's fine. Uh, we'll switch these two. You know, the bricks are growing on me. I have to say, I'm impressed. Bricks are growing on me. Oh, do we want to 
Add a crack or something in there. Maybe like right here. Or maybe both of them. Yeah, do both of them. Thanks so much, Toy Bear. I'm glad you like it. I'm a pretty patient builder and I find that it pays off. Like there's just a lot of, it feels like a lot of nitpicky stuff, but it, it's the kind of detail that it takes time to do and you don't necessarily stop and see it, but you absolutely notice it when you walk by. Like even the depth that this adds, you know, the overlap that it adds is really cool. It'll look really great when we have some like meat on the counters and things. Uh, which I think is um, maybe what we're going to do next. Because I think as far as... The only thing I'm not satisfied with inside is the jungle wood on the ceiling. I feel like I might have to switch that to spruce. But it, it might be too samey. We'll see. Um, now inside, I want to put some stuff along here. I want to hang a couple of things of meat. I want to try to put a horizontal chain in there. Whoa! No! Oh, he's tracking me! My boat. Oh, there it is. Okay. Any more? Anybody else want a piece? Do you have any heads I want? Coral is really cool. Don't have any on me, though. That's really cool. I would not be trading another netherite right block for it, though. Woo. Expensive. That's kind of cool. Darn it. Mind Fiend, uh, people can run their Twitch channels however they want. And I'm happy with the community that's grown around mine. And if you feel like you're being hamstrung, then, I mean, in all honesty, find someone else. There's millions of Minecraft players out there and thousands of Minecraft streamers. And I interact with chat. I just don't interact with dumb comments in chat or rude comments in chat or comments that are just constantly telling me what to do because I don't find it helpful or fun. Other streamers do. I don't. Do, do, do. Uh, dark Oak. I need an inventory cleanse here. I always find it amusing that people, because I may not be interacting with chat immediately, think that I'm not reading chat. I'm reading it. I just not might not feel like <laughs> comments justify replies. Thank you for the reminder, Cosmic. Appreciate it. And thanks for the awesome modding, as always. Whoops. Hey, Dang Rice, how's it going? I didn't see you come in. Uh, whoop. That goes there. 
Uh, somewhere there are stairs. Oh, that's full. Mm. And the jungle stuff was over here. What I want? I wanted the clay and emeralds. Uh, emeralds. We'll just take them all. Uh, clay was in this one. I think that's all I want right now from the wandering trader. Um, those are kind of cool. I think I have everything else. Or I don't have a use for it. I think I have andesite. Although lapis would be really cool. Uh, I don't have andesite. And I don't have lapis. Lapis and insect. Um, boop. Nice. I don't have any more room <laughs> in the uh, the mini heads box for it, so I'll have to start putting them in here, I guess. Sappy is rating with a party of five. How's it going? How's your stream? Thanks so much for sharing your viewers. Uh, we are working on a butcher shop. I think we're ready for meats. Uh, oh, this needs some texture here. We'll do that when we come back. Yeah, I think we're at a solid spot. I think we're at a solid spot. Welcome on in, Raiders. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joel Duggan, and uh, I have been working in this medieval build area since December. And we are just adding in a butcher shop down this road, right where that wandering trader is looking around. It adds another chimney in that area, which is nice as well. What do you use the mini blocks for, Joel? We have them on Infinity Cove, but never really found a use for them. Uh, I use the Wandering Trader just for heads. Uh, I will show you, actually. Let's walk around. Since there's a couple new people here, we'll just walk over to the keep. And we'll go upstairs into the kitchen. Because we're going to do the same thing. Because I find that netherrack and, and jungle wood looks like um, meat and smoked meat. So up here in the keep we've got uh that is a mini block of netherrack and with the armor stand data pack we've got the bone in the hand of the armor stand and then we make it look like it's a big hunk of meat and then this is a another thing it's the armor stand i think it's on its head uh and uh unless it's uh it might be actually just hanging from that chain um but i mean it's it's just a jungle log but at that scale it sort of looks like the skin of something that has meat on it and it has a nice kind of pink kind of underside a top to it i guess if you look at it that way that's kind of cool looks like a roast or a ham or something um so that's the kind of stuff we're going to do with them i don't know if i've used them anywhere else not out here i might have used them in the bakery hold on I did a little bit of inside work in the bakery. Uh, there's nothing in there that's got mini blocks on it. This we use the... This is not the best. I need to... Oh, yeah, I did. Looks like a loaf of bread. Sort of, kind of, maybe. If you stretch your 
imagination. And that's stripped birch. Uh, it would look a little bit better, I think, if it was sideways. But you can't. You can. It's just a pain in the butt to turn them sideways. That's one thing. Uh, I don't think we did anything in the pub. I've got plans to do stuff like this, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, I don't have anything down here. Yet. And I don't think I did anything over here. No. There's no door on this. Weird. Anyway, again, thanks so much, uh, Sapfi, for the, uh, the raid. Appreciate it. Uh, I am going to take my break. Uh, for those of you that are new, I take a break for about five minutes every hour. And then we come back and we work on more butcher shop stuff. We might even get to the smokehouse today, uh, which is really fun. So uh, don't go anywhere and we will be right back.
Elevod and lover of all things. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good Sunday. I think after the stream today, I'm going to go for a run, work out for a bit, and then light up the barbecue. I was going to do ribs, but I don't have time. I'll have to wait for another day to do ribs. So I think we're going to do some barbecue chicken. I have a new chimney starter. I have a, a new way to light the barbecue, so it should be nice in that way. So what I think we're going to do next is think about like how to dirty up the floor a little bit and maybe look like stuff has been brought in and out. Uh, we also do have, I believe we've got some nether rack. Yeah, we've got nether rack. Uh, I do have some jungle log. Anybody else have, have input uh, as to what blocks might look like meat or smoked meat in the game? I feel like logs are just going to look like logs. The jungle log is good enough of a funny texture that it looks okay. I know like glazed terracotta can look like meat with the right imagination. But that's, I don't know. I'm not kind of, I'm not sure what kind of fantastic beast that would belong to, but I mean, it's possible. It is a medieval fantasy area. It doesn't have to be realistic. Uh, I don't think I want a cauldron in there, but we're going to try it. Nether quartz. Oh, do we have that in a mini block? No, we don't. I've not, I don't know if I've seen that in a mini block. I have it. Like I've got nether quartz. You're right. That does look really good. We might have to use that in the smokehouse. We might want to use that in the smoke. I think that that might be too much in here, but we'll see. Because I think anything that hangs, like that's just really big. I guess we could give the block to the armor stand. That's always a possibility. I want to kind of do like a, I guess maybe here. Or do I want it over here? Yeah, I think I kind of like it there. And then, can't put anything underneath it. But I can get some redstone. Shulker Island is back. Uh, and that's the other thing I wanted. I wanted concrete powder. Oop. Actually, I actually have like a stack of arrows with me now. Um. That might be too red. Nether rack. Oh, you know what I want? It's um crap. I don't have any here. Do I have any in here? Nether wart. Nether wart block would look good. Maybe. I can't believe I don't have any nether wart block. It was in the um was in the nether. I saw it in the chest. Um, this might be too bright. Yeah, it's a little bit much. Plus, my redstone doesn't have a nice texture on it. So it's not quite the same as like the natural looking splotchy stuff.
Hmm. Now, do these work? No, we have to put that on an armor stand. That's what I thought. That's fine. Uh, and... I guess we'll do that. We'll try... I do have at least one armor stand, I think. Yep. And then the toolbox with the stand statues book. We've got the um, armor statues from Vanilla Tweaks on the server. B. Ramsey, hello, how are you? Good to see you. So we'll get rid of that for now. Uh, what do we want where? I think I want the... This one here. So really, outside of a little bit of a rotation, I think that's about perfect, right? So we'll just say no to gravity. We'll do uh, rotation. Five degrees, rotation, that way. A little bit more. We'll just do another rotation that way. Say so that's good. And then we just hide the armor stand. Done. Right? Like, no biggie at all. Uh, now the next one... Like, that seems too big, right? But if we do... I put another chain here. Probably can't put the armor stand there. No. And there's no way to make that bigger. That I know of. Crystal Husky, rating with a party of three. Thanks so much for sharing your viewers. Welcome on in. I'm assuming you were playing Minecraft, but perhaps not. Either way, let us know what you're up to. And for everybody coming in, welcome. My name is Joel Duggan. I do a variety of things here on Twitch. And uh, right now I'm playing Minecraft as I often do because I'm one half of the Spawn Chunks podcast. The other half being Pixel Rips. And uh, I'm working on a butcher shop in my medieval city that I talk about a lot on the Spawn Chunks podcast. So yeah, lots of free stuff to listen to. Well, let's just try it. Can I not? Why not take the thing? Is it because of the chain? Oh, it's not a head. That's right. This is just a straight up block. So we'd have to do a node of gravity. Have to do show arms and then give it. Yeah. That's little. Much smaller than that. I much prefer the larger size. So I guess we'll have to wait until we have a. Um... No, I want that back. Um, wait till we have a larger head. Uh, in the meantime, I guess what I'll do is go get another nether rack piece. We'll use this again. So unfortunately, it's going to look the same, but now here, what I thought I could do is in addition to rotation, we'll go five degrees, but we're going to go this way. Nope. We have to be closest to the 
proper stand. Try to rotate it a little bit more. Sure. Now, what I want to do is see if we can, so no to gravity, I want to nudge position y minus 8. Well, let's try minus 3. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do minus 8. We'll try minus 3 again. Now, if I add a chain there. Oh, I still can't do it. Even if I hide the armor stand? No. Okay. Never mind. I thought I was going to be able to... Um, I thought I was going to be able to... Have a chain go inside the block. Maybe if we move the armor stand forward. Oh, I don't remember what axis I'm on. Either way, I gotta sleep first before I get blown up. Can you push an armor stand with a piston? Yes, I think you can. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just thinking, like, if I did this, and if I am on the positive, we're on the negative, so I want to go positive Z. If I go positive Z by 8, and then I should be able to put a chain on this. Aha! And then negative Z by 8. Ta-da! Actually, I think I want to raise it up. What if we can see the chain through it? That's kind of cool too, right? So why? Nope. Uh, plus three. Yeah, that's cool. I dig it. This is still too bright, but that's fine. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to try was this. And don't know what we could put in there, if anything. Nope, that's too much. Don't like that. I kind of want to switch this out for basalt. Yeah, because it's a different angle, it has a bit, bit of a different feel to it. Okay. I I want to put something on that, but I don't know what. I imagine it would look cool if we used a log. Uh, lover of all things, thanks very much. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I guess you could put the redstone back. I don't know if I'm going to keep the redstone, but it's a it's a good idea. It just it looks a little bit. Oh, oh, that worked. Here we go. Uh, so then back here, I feel like we could maybe do. Imagine red wool is going to be too much. I 
I really think I need to go get some uh, mushroom warped, warped fungus, crimson. I don't know what they're called now. Warped wart block, I think. No, crimson wart block. I don't know. Um, what else can we do in here? That pizza guy. Hey Joel, I've watched the Spun Chunks for a while now, but I only watch it when I have journeys. I thought I should check. Uh, you and Johnny out. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Pixel Riffs was streaming today too, I think. Is he does normally stream on Sundays. What are we building, the Illusioner? We're working on a butcher shop. I'm working on a butcher shop. And I'm adding in some floor details and stuff back here. And we need to go get some warped warts. We're going to go do that. Because I think, again, probably some new people today. So nice to show them around a little bit. Um, I'm going to be flying, though, because I'm a little bit shy on time. Um, burp, burp. Do I need... Yeah, I'll bring this. Uh, yes, we have the Vanilla Tweaks armor stand. I've got a number of Vanilla Tweaks things. Um... Armor stands, heads. Uh, I can't remember. There's something else about not wheat, but there's one other thing that we've got. That's like a major. Most of them are crafting tweaks, actually. It's like um, being able to craft and uncraft nether wart into blocks. Um, what else is there? I don't know the full list. But really, if you go to Vanilla Tweaks and there's anything that seems like remotely useful, it's more than likely been something that I've grabbed. I guess we'll just bring a stack. Crimson Roots. Those might be cool. Oh, that could look kind of like Guts. We don't have very much of those. That almost looks like meat, too. Anything else that's in here that passes as meat? I guess the rotten flesh is sort of steak-like looking. I mean, the other thing, of course, is... Uh, oh, hey, that might work. Yeah. I don't have very much of that, though. At least not here. I think I've got some Nylium in the swamp. A pecan pie, nice. I find it a little bit sweet. I'm more of an apple or a rhubarb pie kind of guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did just say that, Cosmic. You're right. You're right, you're right. Hopefully I've put some of this stuff in chests. Uh, leather could be handy too. We have some of that already though. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. I guess we just take the Nylium. I mean, this is just a temporary setup for growing trees anyway. Uh, 
Sure. Probably enough. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can spread the, nor the warp down into netherrack too. That's correct. I don't, um, I actually, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this because we're going to be talking about our nether experience uh, tomorrow on the spawn chunks as we kind of like look back at 116 before we move ahead to 117 uh, on Tuesday. And um, I haven't really done a lot in the nether. I, I think a lot of it just because the crimson wood and the warped wood are not the easiest to build with. And we've already had all of our nether tunnels done. If I had a new nether tunnel to build, I would definitely use some sort of cool color scheme from 116. And I might still do that, but I just I haven't had the reason to. One of the things the difficult things about having a long-term server is that when new updates come out, there might be new and cool ways to do things. But if you've already done them and you don't need another gold farm, you don't need, you know, another wither skeleton farm or reason to build out and, and explore and do all that kind of stuff. And I didn't find the bastions all that compelling. So you know, I hadn't, uh, I haven't really explored the nether update that much. I like the little chimney that view, you can kind of see what's going on. I like that. Looks good. Colored unnamed shulker box, the one from Cosmic. Uh, there's a few shulker boxes here. Some of them are from Kazakh. I don't remember which one. So, Nether Wart and Crimson Nylene. So, let's just say... Put... Yeah, see that, to me... I mean, I don't mind that. But I feel like that might work better here. Oh, crap. I have to be careful here. Oh, now I can't put a block there. That's right. We'll push it in with a piston. The Illusioner Cosmic is the nicest. To put that in context. <laughs> uh, piston... Piston, lever. Hopefully this will not move the armor stand. Oh, this probably needs to be a better block. Darn it. All right, well, we'll have to go get the book then. I should have just left that in my inventory. Uh, this one, yes. So, I'm assuming that's probably 16 pixels that just got pushed. And it was on the Z-axis. Oh, it was not. It was more like... More like 12. Back to normal, and I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, I do want to try to see... I think that the warped wart... 
Oh, that is intense. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I think I like that better than the than the terracotta. This feels very clean, though. I don't know what we can do to make that feel messed up without um, screwing around with it. I wonder. This is probably not going to look very good. That's going to look silly. Can't hang them there. Oh, maybe we could hang them in the corner. If we could rig it up so that it looks like they're hanging from something. Uh, bone meal. If I put some redstone underneath that. Redstone or nylium? Probably nylium. Yeah. So we'll go nylium. Maybe we'll do both. Unfortunately, with my natural looking... Um, with my natural looking... Uh, redstone or, or or more refined looking redstone texture. It's not the best. Actually, to the point, it's kind of distracting. Let's um get rid of it. It's too bad that not, that netherrack doesn't look better from the side because that looks cool. But then I don't want a meat table. And we'll have to do something besides just one. Now here is where we can start to get creative with the wood texture. Uh, G D Jewel. Dikas, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Hello. Welcome in. I can never look at the same the root and the ceiling the same way now. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's get some spruce and probably some strip spruce. I don't know if there's anything I don't really have that much for jungle logs here. I should have, I went all that way and I didn't get more jungle. Uh, do I have jungle saplings? Don't think I do. Does not look like it. Oh, I've got more jungle blocks in here. Here we go. Oh, there's already some strip there. Cool. Again, I'm not sure how this is going to look, but I kind of want to rough things up a little bit. Now, jungle has a different direction.
But I'm not sure if we can maybe get away with more like stripped spruce in this way. Nah, see that just looks like the table. So maybe we have to try to make it look wet, but not have it be blood like ripping around. Actually, I wonder if spruce would look good over here. Yeah, like that better. It's all about the layers, layers of texture. And the thought behind it usually helps. Ugh, oh, that's too bad. It really stands out. Uh, I don't know if any of the other woods are going to be too light. I could try stripped oak, maybe? I mean, I could always try jungle logs, too. If I wanted something else, like right here. Oh, that's even darker. Looks kind of messed up, too, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't look that good over there. Hunter Triple Five coming in with the tier one. First sub of the day, I think. Six months in a row. Currently on a six month streak, unlocking the air keystone badge. Thanks so much, Hunter. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Yeah, I kind of like that there. I kind of want to put that over here, actually. Oh, darn. Now it looks kind of weird there. What do we like there better, the spruce or the jungle? I think the spruce. Uh, I also want to see if stripped oak is too light in here. It probably is. Yeah. The only other thing I can think of is going back to granite. Because there's no... There's no other alternatives. Everything else is pretty pink and bright. An exhausting day would be a better description. Well, that's no good. I'm going to be tired shortly because when I go for my workout, it's hot here today. I'll be a hot, sweaty mess and ready for some barbecue by the time I'm back. I don't want to overdo it, but I definitely want to have some more texture in the floor. Someone suggested oak trapdoors, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, stripped. None of the woods are going to work the right way. Try some granite, but I really don't have high hopes for this looking very good. It's not awful, but it just looks like a completely different material than it, of, which of course makes sense. So I guess we just have to find a couple more opp opportunities to put in some of this stripped stuff here. Oh, at the proper angle here. I feel 
think we need one more. Yep, I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Now, we can also um, add in a few things. Like, we can have... I want to have uh, a nice barrel of stuff here. This is unfortunately going to make it tight to walk around. Um, I can't think of anywhere else to put it. Ah, uh, we could put it there. Although that's having our light on top of it. Astro Mango subscribing with Prime for nine months in a row, unlocking the Firestone Keystone Badge. Thank you so much, uh, Astro Mango. That's amazing. Nine months. Wow. Thanks to everyone that supports the channel. It's uh, it's one of the reasons I can keep doing this. Y'all are just amazing. Uh, thought process got sidetracked by amazing donation of sub. Brain not functioning. Um, what was I looking for? Trapdoor. And white concrete powder. So there's definitely going to be some salt in a butcher shop. And this is the current location for our salt. Uh, I think that adds a nice, it breaks up. A little bit of this. It's a pain in the butt to walk by, but that's fine, I think. I dig it. I think that looks good. I don't think we need to do much more. I would like to have a different... Um, if I can get that quartz head with the bones in it, I think that would look perfect there. Um, we could do another armor stand with a bone sticking out of it, but I just don't want to thick with that right now. I don't think I'm going to put anything on there. Unless I do, maybe I'll put like zombie flesh and hang the zombie flesh on that. That would look really cool. Although it might just be too much. I don't know. We might have, if we do the zombie flesh there, we might have to move this over here. Uh, I just like the idea of seeing the flames and the smoke without it being blocked, right? Like this kind of blocks most of that detail. But if you standing here when you come in, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so inside just needs some doors. So we need three, three doors. I have six. Good stuff. that away so the way that I've been doing this to try to avoid uh, issues of zombies breaking them down is that you put them sideways so that they look like they're open but they're really not and I want this to open on that side there so open and then same thing here we would want this to open towards the side again and we would probably keep it here it's fine to me and then this other one uh I tried to have the doors swing away from where we're going, so I think I'd want the door to open again on this side here. Yeah. Makes it harder to get in and out, but I think it adds to... Even if we want to leave them open, it just it's nice to have them there. Just makes it just a little tight to run through without hitting stuff. 
Uh, do we want to do anything on the back porch? I feel like this is probably going to stay upright like that. I don't think I mind the grass path. I think I might want to mix in a little bit of coarse dirt. Which I think we had. If not, I will just make some. Hundred degrees, South Pennsylvania. Wow, that is warm. We were talking about that earlier. It's uh what is the temperature right now? Actually, I should check before I go outside. Currently is it is it melt face or just like melt soul? Twenty seven degrees feels like thirty. Ah, that's pretty warm. That's pretty warm. Take it easy, Rabelais. Good to see you, but uh, I feel the back pain, man. That's there's no fun. Uh, let's leave those. We'll change this one, and probably and maybe hit that with some gravel and some cobble. I like this combo here. Gravel. Yeah, like I feel like we can probably sacrifice these two for cobble, gravel, and then also A little bit there and honestly we might want to go something else there too so here I think we're gonna have to make the sacrifice of having some sort of like slab here now thankfully we have um got coarse dirt slabs now i don't think i have them right here i think i can just make them though so this is a data pack that uh i got the idea from from fix it and it's just um petrified oak slabs which are actually in the game but uh, we assign the coarse dirt texture to them. It's nice. And I kind of want this to have like a wood feel to it. At least for two blocks. So let's go with some um, spruce. Thank you, Cosmic. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to finish up this lower part of the build I think you know how I don't like to walk away from stuff that's half done so oh that's tricky how are we gonna handle that oh you know what maybe we don't handle it at all maybe we just uh, we will put a full block there Make sure that this is coarse dirt on the bottom. This is where I wish you could mix up slabs. I think that's fine. I don't think it's high enough that it needs a railing. I guess we could try. Doesn't look as good with the door open. That's fine. Uh, I'm okay with that little bit. 
I think we're going to go with gravel here. And... Nope. I think that's okay for now. I know, but if I don't put the time in your head, you'll be here, here all night, get hungry, and then things will get really ugly. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I just want to drop in another little bit of gravel somewhere. Yeah, I think that's good. Do I have any andesite on me? I don't. This is just me wanting to make sure that this feels like it has some thought behind it. to sacrifice this but I feel like it needs something else no you know it was better before I stand corrected cool all right I think that's good enough for the back uh, we only have this left I'll just do that another day cool well, we, uh, we have beetroots growing up in the front. We've added in some uh, greenery. Nothing too fancy, but just enough to say we did a little bit to extra the roof. I like the bricks better than I like the granite, so that's worked out well. Most of the work today was on the inside, uh, getting the walls and the floor, and of course the, uh, the butchering area to look good. We've got a, a barrel of salt. We've got some hanging uh, bits thanks to the uh, heads, more heads data pack and the armor stand data pack from uh, vanilla tweaks and then we've got sausages or guts or both I don't know looks good though uh, and of course the um, the bloody floor <laughs> really helps sell it I think uh, really enjoy this build it's really coming together nicely the next time we come back uh, we'll work on the smokehouse which is gonna have another chimney uh, and actually, I think it's going to be open concept. I don't think it's going to be like an enclosed space. I think it'll be more like a, a hooded stove uh, with a door or something on it. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please leave a follow before you take off. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's at Joel Duggan. And you can uh, check out whoever we're going to raid. Don't go anywhere. I tend to pass you on to somebody else that's playing Minecraft. Uh, you can listen to the Spawn Chunks every Monday. That's at thespawnchunks.com. Listen to the Citadel Cafe every Wednesday that I can get a recording done. And that's at thecitadelcafe.com. Uh, we talked with Stephen ESC this past week about Jupiter's Legacy. It was actually a really good combo. Uh, last but not least, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's the best way uh, to support the stream. Uh, thanks to everybody that supported the stream with a Twitch uh, tier one or a prime gaming sub this weekend. I truly appreciate it. Big thanks to Cosmic for being an awesome moderator. Uh, Hunter Triple Five as well. Thank you. Uh, Cosmic, have a fantastic vacation. Uh, Cosmic is going to be uh, away for a little bit this week. So if I if I got some weekday streams coming up, you might notice that Cosmic isn't around, but that's because she's taking a well deserved vacation with the fam. Uh, so be safe. Enjoy. Hope it's a lovely, lovely trip. And uh, we will see you all probably Wednesday, would be my next stream. Uh, I might try to do something earlier, but it, it depends on how and what I can get together and whether or not we can get the Citadel updated to 117. 117 Citadel is more than likely going to be Friday, uh, but Wednesday I might try to do something else interesting. So we'll see. Uh, but hang out and uh, we'll see you all in just a little bit. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.
Short Zelda is a lovely creator, folks. Everybody pile in, be kind, and enjoy the rest of your day with Short Zelda. Bye for now.